Hello, my name is Eugene Daniels, and this is the demo of my web tech project. And this project was a prison management system I built for the Ghana Prison Service. So we are going to start with the login. So the login, the email for the login is admin at gov.com and the password is password123. But in this case, I'm going to put a wrong password to see what happens. So I put a wrong password. Then it's supposed to tell me the password. My credential is invalid. So right now I'm going to put the right password, which is password123. So login was successful. It directs me to the dashboard. So on the dashboard, we are going back to see how the reset password functionality. So I put in the, the email. Then right now I'm going to give a password. Then you see if the password and that don't match. It immediately prompts me that the password don't match to the match okay now sorry so if there's a research function now no, password was reset successfully so we are going back to the dashboard again so login was successful once again now on the dashboard you could see the total number of prisoners the total number of employees the total number of visits per month and also the total number of prisoners that are currently in the database all this information are being taken from the database and now we are going to where the email section is so at the email section that's where you could see Image that's where we could see information about image. We can add information about image. We could delete and uh, there's no delete functionality for the image. So here you can see the total number of remarks in the prison. You can see the total number of convicts. You can see the total um the prison with the highest number of people. And as you can see from the graph, this is a comfort. They have six people to uh, and right now the total number of inmates in the database is 14. Now, we also have a graph which shows the gender ratio, the number of males to the number of females currently in the database. These graphs and the data from this, um, the graph, the graph shows data from the database. So right now, I'm going to walk us through adding of a prisoner to the system. So we add the case. So all this information has widgets. All this field has widgets which is used to validate the input of the administrator. So. For the sake of time, I'm going to use dummy values. So we are filling the information right now. Um, then we save the case details. Now it tells me the case details have been saved successfully. Now it sends us to the police officers um, form. As I said, there's both front end and back end validation for for this okay this information has been saved successfully like directs us to the prisoner where we, we want to save our prisoner so i could say um web tech so web tech daniels then um Ghanian, um the heights the weights um the date of birth, the sex, then the female, then we choose married, then we choose remand, and the eye color, which is brown, um, complexion fair. Um, you will put in block G or a block F, sorry. Now, the latest possible release date, the day that they are going to release him, um, the first name and last name of the next of kin. Okay. Then I'm going to upload an image of the prisoner to the system. So I'm going to select this image as you can see. So it gives me um so I'm, okay, it gives me a preview of the image I selected. Now I'm now I can go ahead and save my record. Now it tells me the record has been saved successfully. So we go back to the dashboard, we could see that the number of prisoners affects it was six. Now it is seven. It has increased, as you can see, and shows the graph. It has increased. The total number of inmates was increased to fifteen. So right now, in this table, if you want to search for a prisoner, if you're going to make an edit to a prisoner, so the prisoner we just added was WebTech. So you see the search, search aha, uh -huh, WebTech Daniel. This is the same prisoner we just added. Now let's say you want to change the status from remand to a convict. So we go to the edit button. We go to where. It, 
then you image status you change it to a convict then we can change anything else in addition so we update his information then it tells us the record has been updated successfully so we could we come back here we are looking for um web tech okay web tech daniels we see that the information has been now changed to a convict so that's the update functionality now we can go to the view functionality where we are able to see all the information of the prisoner that we've just added to the system then we can see his case details we can see his bio then we are going back to the prisoners page right so there are other sections such as the employee section so at the employee section where we see the total number of employees that are currently in the database this is a calculation of the salary that you're going to pay every employee that's working in the prison for the per month and there's a graph showing the gender ratio the number of males in the system to the number of females in the currently in the system so i'm going to walk us through how to add an employee to the system so you can see the add button here click on the add button and you fill in the details of the employee so as i said regex is used to validate the front end to as well so if the input is not right the, the user is being prompted that the input that is entering and it's not right before any information gets to the database it has been validated at the front end and at the back end so there's a validation for all the information that i am giving here so as you can see on key app there is function and um, there's regions that is checking for everything that i'm doing so i just saved the information so record has been saved successfully great so as we did for the for the prisoner this also has a edit functionality so the prisoner uh, a player just added was eugene so when you search for eugene eugene you see him here you can choose to edit his name to eugene um change the eugene to yam yon then i can update it so it tells me the information has been updated so we can we can now we can now search for we can now search for um yum i i i made the same name yum so you can see yum so now i want to delete the employee detail i just click on the delete button beside it i can choose to cancel i just click on the delete button it's coming yes if you want to delete it and i say yes i want to delete it so right now i've deleted the piece employee i just added it tells me record has been deleted successfully so when i come here i search for yum I don't get anything from the data from the records because i just deleted it so when i go to the visitor section this keep track of the visitors who visited who visits prisoners at the prison so we start by um we've done the add functionalities we've done the update functionalities we've done the delete functionalities we could just uh, simply add a prisoner by just clicking on the add button at the top then we could just put a dummy values and we could just put um as i said earlier on the, um, the values are being validated both the front end and the back end um, so just choose a prison so we are now adding a new visitor to the system our currency my internet is so slow for Please forgive me for that so yeah the visitor information has been added successfully as you can see so um this is the addition functionality now i have another thing else i want to share and also as you can see here all the tables had this kind of buttons over here the visitors section has this has the same thing the employee section had the same thing and the email section too has the same thing so in here what i was trying to do that i was making a way that the user can be able to export the information that he has so you can print your information as you can see here it sends you to um the print page where you can print all the details of the um, of the prisoners in there you can cancel the print so also if you want to download it as a pdf you can download it as a pdf by clicking on this you can download it as a pdf and also if you want to download it as an excel file you click on the excel the information will be downloaded as an excel and also if you want to download it as a csv you could download this as a csv as you can see you have downloaded it as a csv and